Maybe you do. And it doesn't hurt that he's a very wealthy young man with a big fat trust fund. And you will be providing for her. Do you understand? The point well, is, they both need to focus on their futures. And if the need arises, I'm sure that Carly will be more than happy to help out her sister. Dad, you're not getting this. Gwen and I are together. What he really means is that they're sleeping together. I'm sorry, that is none of your business. I'm sorry, it is. Barbara, You're minors. Sh if you don't shut up. And this is the future. I'm Gwen, this is how responsible people with good educations turn out. Well, you know what? You can both keep it. Mom, I've told you. Dad, I'll tell you. Gwen and I are serious about being together. If you don't want to help us, fine. We'll figure something else out on our own. Come on. Will. What? Will. Do something. I haven't seen my son in a month. He walks in here almost happy to see me, and in 15 minutes, we're at each other's throats. It's that girl's influence. It's your influence, Barbara. Excuse me, I thought we were on the same page in this. We may want the same thing for our children, but that's where it ends. I would never bring false charges. Don't you see what you've done now? You've alienated them for good. Oh, for God's sakes, Hal, they're teenagers. They're always alienated. I called those kids over here so we could work this out. I should have kicked you out when I had the chance. As a matter of fact, get out. What? You heard me. Why? I don't blame Will for wanting no part of you or me. You're a liar, and I've let him down more times than I've come through for him. Never again. Out. You're letting all the hot air out, Hal. Barbara, if you don't get out, I will throw you over my shoulder and deposit you on the curb. As usual, you're overreacting. No, this is overreacting. 